uh, I often uh, employ with my students. Uh, I myself not only am a visual learner, but also am a visual instructor in that I love diagrams, I love uh, images, animations, all these things, because I think that in order to teach the preclinical learner especially, um, you oftentimes really need to go down to the basics, the underlying physiology. Um, so when I have a learner come to me and they're confused about a clinical topic, right? Let's say we're talking about um, a heart failure, for example, I will oftentimes go back to the basic physiology within cardiology, start there, and then bridge that gap in what their understanding may be missing uh, in terms of heart failure, right? And so um, I oftentimes will employ a video such as Um, the ones that are being shown here through osmosis uh, to be able to show the learner what they need to know at the foundational kind of the normal, like the physiology, and then how we can bridge that gap to the abnormal being something like heart failure, right? And so I think that uh, osmosis does a wonderful job in um, really with their beautiful animations, being able to uh, really tie in those two concepts together for the learner in a really visually striking, engaging way, right? And then they can, and they often, my students will then go back and re-review the video on their own time. Um, but, you know, pausing and and, and uh, stopping and starting these videos while I teach the students, uh, I think is, is just a wonderful feature. Start a conversation to learn more today.